everyone, thank you so much for clicking onto the video. Today we're going to look at Core Practical, which is the analysis of some inorganic and organic unknowns. Now we're going to have a look at a Core Practical, which is the analysis of some inorganic and organic unknowns. So the general method comes in two parts. So the first part we're going to be looking at identifying organic liquids A, B and C. So firstly, we place 10 drops of each liquid into three separate test tubes and we add one centimetres um, cubed of bromine water to each test tube and shake the mixture. So what this um, looks for um, is alkenes. So when we have alkenes present, um, then the bromine water will turn from orange brown to colourless. And then secondly, we place 10 drops of each liquid into three separate test tubes again and add and one centimetre cubed of acidified potassium dichromate to each test tube and warm the mixture in a 60, 60 degree water bath for five minutes. And so this acidified potassium dichromate can test for anything which can be oxidised. So we have primary alcohol, secondary alcohols um, and also aldehydes. And what happens is that it goes from orange to green. And then thirdly, we place again 10 drops of each liquid into three separate test tubes and then this time adding failing solution um, and heat. So this can identify um, aldehydes. And the solution will turn from blue to orange. And then finally, we place 10 drops of each liquid into three separate test tubes, and this time adding ethanol and dilute sodium hydroxide solution and warming this mixture in a water bath. We then acidify each mixture with dilute nitric acid and then add five drops of silver nitrate solution. So this identifies for halide ions. So for the Cl minus ion, we get um, white precipitate. For the bromide ion, we get a cream precipitate. And then for the iodide ion, we get a yellow precipitate. And then for part two, we're going to look at identifying inorganic solids, X, Y, and Z. So we conduct flame tests for each of these three solids. Um, so if you look back at our flame test video and um, then you'll, you'll be able to see all of the results for the different ions and then we dissolve a spatula full of each solid in three separate test tubes containing some distilled water and then split each solution into three portions so for the first portion we add dilute nitric acid followed by silver nitrate and then add dilute ammonia so this again um, identifies the halide ions um, and then to the second portion add some dilute nitric acid followed by barium chloride. So this is testing for sulfate ions. And we should get a white precipitate if we do have sulfates. And then finally, we add some chlorine water um, to the third portion, and this can identify for carbonates because we could form carbon dioxide and this will be cloudy in lime water.